Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading to see the messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for your continued support. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. Let's see what we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? What messages do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please? What message? Thank you. We have two we're starting off with. The first one is the Three of Pentacles coming together in project work, collaboration, partnership. Uh, this is also talking about bringing your skills, your abilities um, to market, bringing them to bear. Then the Six of Cups, something from the past, a past memory, something from childhood. You could have had a hobby or a passion or something that you enjoyed doing from the past that will have relevance in the present. What other messages? This could also be a, a past partnership, past partnership. What other messages for Pisces, please? Memories from the past of working together. Then the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles can be mother energy. It's also feminine, earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, things around fertility, nurturing the home. What other messages for Pisces, please? What other messages for Pisces, please, Spirit? Then we have... The Fool, a new beginning, moving forward, unencumbered from something. We'll dive into this and see what's going on here. Also, Aries energy. Some of you might have a, a little white puppy or some of you might... Um, I'm, I'm feeling the energy of somebody with a little small animal. Um, what other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? Please be clear. What other messages do you have for thank you so much? And then we have the Ace of Wands, a new beginning. This could be new business opportunity, new passionate, new beginning. What other messages for Pisces, please, Spirit? What other messages for Pisces, please? Thank you. And then we have one more message here. And it's the Six of Pentacles. Generosity, equal give and take, reciprocity, um, charity even. So let's, let's see what's going on here, Pisces. We see... The energy of coming together in some type of generosity we have a memory or some element from the past that is present but we also see moving forward unencumbered from any past energies and moving forward to a new beginning where something is either being given to you or you will be giving something let's dive in what is this three of pentacles for pisces what does Pisces need to know about this Three of Pentacles, please, Spirit? For the Three of Pentacles, we are getting the Ten of Cups coming together in happiness and harmony, in emotional contentment. This can, oops, this can also be coming together. The Ten of Cups can represent family. Working, working on something that brings you happiness. One more card for this Three of Pentacles. One more card for this Three of Pentacles, please. Thank you. Okay, that's too many, Spirit. What? Just one more card. Be specific. Thank you. And we have the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is success. Working on something that's going to bring you towards success. King of Pentacles. Masculine Earth Energy. Also the match to the Queen of Pentacles. Um, something complementing you. So this is working for your success. Let's clarify the, the Ten of Cups. And the King of Pentacles. What is this Ten of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know about this Ten of Cups? Focusing on things that bring you happiness, that are emotionally satisfying to you. What is this Ten of Cups for Pisces? Doing things that make you happy. We have a tower. I, I'm hearing if you're doing things that are not making you happy, you're going to get a tower here, Pisces. This can also be a sudden change, a sudden a pivot. One more. What is this? Ooh. And we have for the King of Pentacles, we're having the world completion, a doorway. I'm going to get one more deck and clarify this tower. Let's see. Spirit, why do we have this tower here? Sudden happiness, it could be, but let's see. What is this tower here? 
What is this? I, I'm hearing as you focus on your happiness, everything changes suddenly, more rapidly than you would expect. What is this tower, please? What does Pisces need to know about this tower? Man, these cards. This deck is going rogue on me. What is this tower for Pisces, please? What is Pisces? Thank you. For the tower, yes. As you focus on what is emotionally fulfilling for you, suddenly you're coming into wish fulfillment. What is this world, please? What is this world? Coming into success, coming into a new beginning, going exiting one chapter, one cycle, and moving towards something much more fulfilling here with this full, full, world, full, tower, nine of cups. Um, as you're focusing, as you're working on things that bring you emotional happiness, suddenly you're shifting into emotional fulfillment, wish fulfillment. You're going to have a success as you walk through a new gateway into a new beginning. This could be something you've been waiting for for quite a long time. What is the Six of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know about the Six of Cups? What is the Six of Cups, please? Thank you. So in the past, you could have made a decision to walk away from, in the past, you could have walked away from resistant situations or energies that were very selfish, very egoic. Um, what is this Five of Swords, please? What is this Five of Swords? You have chosen yourself. What is this Five of Swords, please, Spirit? What is this Five of Swords, please? I'm also getting in the past you've dealt with some pretty rotten people, but you've allowed your intuition to guide you out. You've allowed your intuition to guide you towards something new. What is this Queen of Cups, feminine water energy? What is this Queen of Cups, please? What do we need to know about this Queen of Cups? Also intuitive, empathic energy. And we have the temperance. Now the temperance card is Sagittarius energy, but it's about healing, restoration, Moving towards things that complement each other. What do we need to know about this high priestess? What is this high priestess, please? Yes, you're definitely focusing on, you know, allowing your intuition to guide you. What is this temperance, please? What is this temperance? What is this temperance, please? Thank you. And King of Pentacles, success again. Um, allowing yourself to be guided towards things that are going to be successful for you, not resistant. What is this Queen of Pentacles? What is this Queen of Pentacles? What is this Queen of Pentacles, please? So basically what I'm seeing right here is you focusing on things that bring you emotional fulfillment and, and coming to terms with things that are difficult for you and you making a choice to go into Empress energy. Now the Queen of Pentacles, as we stated before, and the Empress both have mothering energy around them so you could be very nurturing very warm um what is this empress please what do we need to know about this empress so for some of you thoughts of your mother could be very relevant or, or pre prevalent around this time what is this empress please and we're getting the ace of cups so there is something new coming in for you pisces let's see what this ace of cups is what is this Ace of Cups? As you sit back, as you walk away from resistant energy, focusing on your, yep, your manifesting, focusing on your emotional contentment, you're coming into alignment with the things you're wanting to manifest. You have the skills and abilities to bring in a new emotional beginning as well. What is this Fool? What do we need to know about this Fool? For the Fool, putting a burden down. One more card for this Fool. One more card for the fool. Ending this chapter, allowing your intuition to guide you to a much better place. What is this Ten of Wands? You're done carrying the load. You're letting go or you're needing to release this load. What is this High Priestess, please? High Priestess for the second time. What is this High Priestess? What is this High Priestess, please? Thank you. And here we have the star, Aquarius Energy, but coming into healing, connection, alignment, a new beginning that's going to enable you to put a burden down and move forward aligned. What is this Ace of Wands for the new beginning, please? What is this Ace of Wands? And we have Death card. One more card for this Ace of Wands, a transformation. And then the Emperor card, 
Let's see what's going on here. The death card is Scorpio energy. The emperor is Aries energy. What is this death card here? Why is this death card here, please? You're moving into empowerment, Pisces. The emperor embodies all the kings. And here we have the ten of swords. Something, wow. This is kind of heavy hitting. Something is ending. Um, let's clarify this emperor. Then we'll clarify this next layer down. What is this emperor, please? Why do we have the emperor here? Because this could be a new beginning is coming to an end, the wheel of fortune, but there is positive change. Something is fated to end here. What is this ten of swords? And it could very well be that your cycle of trauma, of difficulty, of backstabbing is what is ending. What is this ten of swords, please? Why do we have the ten of swords here, please? Okay, we have a lot going on for this ten of swords. For this ten of swords, we have... Wow, the death card again. And the high priestess. Intuitively, you've known that something is ending in your life. So in order to enable you to move forward, this very difficult cycle or chapter is coming to a close. What is this Wheel of Fortune here for? Why do we have the Wheel of Fortune? You will be coming into something new, though. What is this Wheel of Fortune, please, Spirit? Some of you have been feeling intuitively that something um, difficult in your life is ending but you are not necessarily able to mentally conceive that things are going to change because you're stuck in the, the 3D, the way things currently are, and not necessarily seeing that something is coming to you. What is the Six of Pentacles? What is this? Thank you for the Six of Pentacles. We have the Hangman. Something is going to be released and transformed. One more card for the Six of Pentacles, please. And here we have the two of pentacles. A decision will be made or required. You may be unsure as well about this transformation. What is this hangman? Hangman is Pisces energy. What do we need to know about this hangman, please? What is this hangman, please? Thank you for the hangman. Oops. We are getting the moon. So something is not made known to you. I, I'm hearing something is obscured. One more card for this hangman, please. But you, something may also come to light. One, one more card for this hangman. And then we have the two of swords. Yeah, a decision is going to be, be required. What is this two of pentacles, please? What is this two of pentacles, please? What is this two of pentacles? What is this Two of Pentacles, please, Spirit? Please come near. Show us what this Two of Pentacles is. Okay. So a decision to move forward. I'm going to ask one more time for this. What is this Two of Pentacles, please, Spirit? Spirit, please come near. What is this Two of Pentacles? Thank you so much. Yeah, a decision to move forward from this burden. So we do see some type of opportunity, gesture, positive thing coming in that's going to enable you to put down a burden, but it's going to require that you actually make the choice. Why, why do we have the moon here? By the time of the next full moon, but be careful you're not lingering in sadness, disappointment, and grief. I, I am saying, and I don't want to, um, we have the emperor and the empress. We do have death and the ten of swords. Some of you may find out that somebody might, um, I'm just going to say be unwell. Um, and I'm going to leave it at that because we do have the death card twice with the ten of swords, which could indicate the passing of somebody. Um, it could be somebody that's older than you, but all things pass with time, but you'll be able to move forward. There will be a period of grieving, I feel, but even though... What is this Two of Swords, please? What is this Two of Swords? Gosh, I almost want to redo this reading because it's getting quite heavy. But we have the Five of Swords coming back into this energy. So for some reason, whatever's ending may trigger a cycle. You have Two of Pentacles and Five of Swords may trigger a cycle of burden again. What is this Ten of Wands? But you're going to be able to overcome this just... The key here is to continue to focus on what gives you emotional contentment and satisfaction. Um, there is going to be a tower coming in. What is this Ten of Wands, please? 
what is this ten of wands in just a second i'm going to look back over the cards and, and make a more cohesive message for you what is this ten of wands please what? okay so oops fudge so we have quite a few things for this ten of wands and i think that's what's happening here pisces is there's a lot going on in this message um, a lot of things changing. So the first card for the Ten of Wands is, yeah, we have stress and anxiety, which I can feel coming through the energy here. Um, then the next card we have is the Queen of Cups and the World. So putting this burden down, we have, and we also have the Empress and the Nine of Wands. So there is some type of difficulty that is going to be closed out, but there's stress and anxiety about closing out this energy. What is the Six of Swords, please? What do we need to know about the Six of Swords? You're going to ultimately make the decision to move away from whatever this burden is. You are going to come out of this and the Four of Swords is rest, is recovery. It can, I'm so sorry to say this, for some of you, this could be a funeral. Um, so I, I don't like to say things like that and I don't want to be alarming or anything for anyone but I am getting that energy and I, I I am called to tell you what I'm I'm reading um so let's get one card for the overall energy of this reading please spirit but overall you're going to be okay um you're going to be moving through whatever this is there is going to be some sadness some stress some anxiety there might also be there's going to be some change, but it's going to lead to a new beginning. We see that it's going to enable you to put a burden down. There's going to be transformation of a cycle and going into your authority to come forward and put a burden down that you have been carrying. Even if you, for some of you, even if you thought you had put a burden down, part of that burden may still be lingering in your energy. And this is going to be a final, um, goodbye to the burden one one card for the overall energy of the reading one card for the overall energy of this reading please spirit kind of a little bit difficult here with this energy and here we have victory and success so you are going to overcome whatever obstacle or challenge this is you will have victory and triumph so please understand that whatever this story is for you you are moving forward you are making the choice to move forward and have a new emotional beginning to manifest the end of a long journey to manifest putting a burden down transmuting the ten of wands into the ace of wands now i did we did mention the energy of perhaps a passing or a final goodbye um, but for others of you, for most of you, this is going to be the transformation of a very, very long, difficult cycle where you're going to come into a situation that's going to be transformative and you can have the choice here to put the burden that you're still carrying down that seems to have been a repetitive cycle. Spirit, one love and light oracle for Pisces, please. Sometimes in the readings, the energy is quite challenging, but... Follow the path that's right for you. This is what we're seeing in the in the top of the reading here, Pisces, is we're seeing that as you choose to apply yourself to things that are emotionally fulfilling for you, it creates change in your 3D world and in your life to bring you into things that are more fulfilling for you. God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Now this could very well be here with the death and the death card and the 10 of swords. This could be, you know, the trials, the testing, the temptation um, is coming to an end. Let's get one angel answers. One angel answers for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit. One angel answers for Pisces for this reading, please. And we have a no. So let's dive into what this no is. I'll get another deck here. What? Why do we have this no? Why is this no here? Thank you. And for the no, we are getting seven of cups. Whatever fantasy thinking, whatever illusions, um, spirit is wanting you to self-correct and get a more pragmatic point of view. It could also be the end of illusions here, 
with the death card. Let's get one more angel answers, actually. One more angel answers for Pisces, please, Spirit. Okay, and we have two more coming out. Take action. So some of you have been resting on your laurels. Some of you have been, instead of doing the work, you've been expecting things just to fall into place. But Spirit is saying it is going, it is required of you to take action. Three of Pentacles, the first card of the reading. This is applying yourself. Then here we have let go. There is a situation here. Hangman, death, ten of swords, ten of wands. That really, truly needs to be let go of in order to free yourself and have triumph and, and success over the situation. Spirit, it could be a mindset you need to let go of, a situation, a person. It could be saying a final goodbye. Spirit, one Psalms for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit. There's something definitely needing to be let go of. Take action. Follow the right path that's for you. Spirit one Psalms for Pisces for this reading. Please show them what they need to see. Thank you. The Lord is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. Whatever this situation is for you, Pisces, remember the Lord is with you. And no matter where the tower in your life hits, this tower is followed by the Nine of Cups. So it shows changes that are in your favor towards your wish fulfillment, towards your satisfaction. But as we go, we do see some challenges, some obstacles, some transformation. But remember, you will not be shaken. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Let's get one lucky oracle. One lucky oracle for Pisces to close out this reading, please, Spirit. One lucky oracle. Thank you so much. And here, Pisces, we are getting a short sorrow. So there is going to be something of a short sor sorrow. Hopefully that will not be the passing of somebody, but we do see there is the energy of perhaps saying goodbye or an energy here of some type of sadness or sorrow that will be um, perhaps present for you. A marriage will take place soon. And we do have a family grief Pisces. So, you know, this is a heads up that... There could be something, a period of mourning, a period of difficulty, stress, and anxiety around the family. We do have um, the emperor and empress that could represent um, mother and father, king of pentacles, queen of pentacles. That could also represent um, some form of committed couple. And then we see that it's going to take a little bit to move forward from this to have the healing. The four, well, I'll just be quiet on that part. You have long been loved by one whom you least su suspect so some of you may have an an admirer or some somebody around you who has feelings for you that you aren't aware of and it doesn't necessarily even have to be romantic if you have a yes or no question for today Pisces the answer is yes and the lucky number is 732 which reduces to the number 12 which reduces to the number three it's interesting that we have the number three closing out the reading and the first card we have in the reading is the three of pentacles. One of the most important things we have in this reading, moreover than this, the goodbye, the illusions, is making sure that you're following the path that's right for you and that you're taking action and letting go in order to allow yourself to realize the victory and success that is ahead for you. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.